Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Rochelle and I'm going to be starting a series called Esthetician Refresh. This is part one, Anatomy Plus. Some information may be incorrect and nobody's perfect, okay? So always refer to your book and state's website for more up-to-date information. This is a sneak peek too into something that I'm also working on called Everything State Board. That will that video will be out as soon as I can get it out. <laughs> um, yeah, so here's a little sneak peek of it. Let's jump right into it. We're going to start with guess the word. So go ahead and read the definitions and then pause the video and try to guess them as best as you can. And then we'll go over the answers in a couple seconds. All right, so let's see how you did. The first one is connective tissue, usually called fat, which gives the body smoothness, contour, insulation, and cushion. That is adipose tissue. Thin walled blood vessels that connect smaller arteries to the veins are capillaries. Eating or taking food into the body is ingestion. Skin condition triggered by hormones causes darker pigmentation in areas like the upper lip and around the eyes and the cheeks is known as melasma. Um, the important main organ of the respiratory system in which inhaled air is exchanged for carbon dioxide during one respiratory cycle is known as the lungs. Question number one. Which body system regulates temperature and produces vitamin D? The integumentary system. Literally your skin inside and out. That system is the largest organ of the body and the first line of defense against infection and water loss. It regulates temperature, perceives sensation, produces vitamin D, and has absorption capabilities. Question number two, what bone forms the back of the skull? The occipital bone. The occipital bone is a curved flat bone located at the back of the base of the skull. This bone also helps protect the brain and supports the head. Question number three, what do the kidneys do? The kidneys excrete water and waste products. Just think they're the body's filter. The kidneys have three main functions, filter waste, regulate fluid balance, and produce urine. Question number four, what is a connection between two or more bones of the skeleton? A joint. It's what joins two or more bones together. A joint is where two or more bones come together in the body. It allows the bones to move in different ways, like bending or rotating, while also providing stability to the skeleton. Examples of joints include your knees, elbows, and shoulders. Question number five. When you bend forward, you are using which muscle movement? Flexion. Flex, fold. An easy way to remember which muscle you use for bending forward is to think of the word flex, as in fold. When you bend forward, your muscles are folding towards your body. Question number six, which muscle draws the scalp backward? The occipitalis muscle. Think occipital bone because it's in the back of the skull. The occipitalis muscle is located at the back of the head. The occipitalis helps move the scalp backward and is responsible for some of the movements of the forehead when you raise your eyebrows or wrinkle your forehead. Its main function is to pull the scalp back. Number seven, you use this muscle to smile but not to grin. Levator anguli oris. The levator anguli oris is a small facial muscle that lies beneath the cheek and near the corner of the mouth. Its primary function is to lift the corner of the mouth, helping you smile or express happiness. When it contracts, it pulls the corners of the mouth upward. Sometimes I can remember this kind of by thinking of the word levator, levitate, so it levitates up, not down, if you want to think of it. Question number eight, which type of muscle will estheticians work with? The answer is skeletal muscle. Estheticians work with skeletal or voluntary muscles. Number nine, what body system affects the growth, development, sexual activities, and health of the body? The answer is the endocrine system. 
The endocrine system is a group of specialized glands that affect the growth, development, sexual activities, and state of health in the entire body. Question number 10. Which body system controls and coordinates all bodily functions? The nervous system. The nervous system is the body's communication network. It consists of the brain, spinal cord, and nerves, and it controls everything from thinking and feeling to moving and responding to the environment. The nervous system helps your body send and receive messages so you can function properly. Thank you for watching, learning with me, guys. You just completed part one of Esthetician Refresh Anatomy Plus. You can follow me on Instagram if you want to see more content at waxgirl888. And go ahead and like, subscribe, comment. Tell me what you guys want to see. Is there anything right now that you're struggling with in school that you need a little bit more help with? If you're already an esthetician, is there something that you need a refresh with? I would love to make a video helping you guys out. And thank you guys for watching again. Bye. Okay guys, you just completed part one of Esthetician Refresh Anatomy Plus. Thank you guys for watching, learning with me, and I can't wait to share the next video with you guys. If you guys like this and you want to see more content like this, please like, subscribe, comment, tell me things you guys want to know, what you guys want to what kind of videos you guys want to see, what kind of things you need help learning, and I'll go ahead and make some content. You can also follow me on Instagram at waxgirl888. Um, I post a lot of content there as well, and you can see my esthetician journey and how I got here to YouTube today. Bye!